Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I want to introduce you to the latest addition to my device collection, Apple Watch. To be honest, I've wanted an Apple Watch since they came out in 2015. Yes, it's been five long years of waiting and saving my pennies. But the time finally arrived in sync with my birthday yesterday and Father's Day tomorrow. I've had my watch for about 24 hours now. This video is about selection criteria, initial setup and first impressions. The original Apple Watch debuted at $500 for the 38mm diagonal and $580 for the 42mm diagonal. There was other versions available up to the top of the range $14,000 Apple Watch edition. The current Series 5 watches are similar in pricing still. But the sizes have increased to 40 and 44mm and obviously processes and features have increased. Luckily, Apple still sell the Series 3 Apple Watch, so I was able to get what I was looking for for a fairly reasonable $350. So which one did I get? Well, it took some research. The new Series 5 has a few neat tricks like an ECG and fall detection, but nothing I can't live without, I hope. Pun intended. And I just couldn't justify paying double the price for the Series 5. Okay, so that leaves me on the Series 3. Next option. GPRS or GPRS and 4G? I never really go anywhere without my iPhone, so adding an extra $170 to the price just didn't seem justifiable to me. The only place I'm even vaguely likely to go without my phone could be on a run, but in that case I've got a great running belt that allows me to store my phone without too many problems at all. And the final choice was size. I knew I was always going to want the bigger one. My eyes aren't getting any younger. And the difference between $300 and $350 was a pretty easy sell for me. I'm long-sighted, so the extra screen size, if I need to look at it without my glasses, makes a real difference. Purchasing was really easy from JB Hi-Fi, with the option that if you ordered it by 2pm on any given day, somebody from the store will deliver it by 6pm for just $5. COVID-19 has really changed the way in which some businesses work and deliver their products, and in this case, I think it's for the better. The packaging from Apple was beautifully designed, as always. And setup was really easy. I downloaded the Apple Watch app, paired it with the watch, and off I went. Of course, I had to customise the watch face to the way I wanted it. But I'd found one I liked the night before and taken a screenshot of it, so I was able to customise it up within about a minute and be ready. The next step, Apple looked at all of the apps on my phone and worked out which ones had Apple Watch versions available for them. It then downloaded all of those and uploaded them to the watch. The process took several minutes, but was no trouble at all. This is the watch face that I chose. I wanted the time up the top right corner and the date up the top left. My calendar takes up the middle and then the three dots down the bottom is the breathe reminder, my activity monitor, and then bottom right is heart rate. As I said, it's only been 24 hours. I'll report back next week with an update on some of the apps that I'm using, further impressions, and whatnot. One thing I did notice when I woke up this morning and checked the activity monitor is that by default the Apple Watch doesn't track sleep. So now I'm going to have to find a sleep tracker for the Apple Watch and work out which one is the best. You'll hear more about that too. Question of the day. Do you have an Apple Watch or some other smartwatch? What are your favourite apps? What do you like to do on it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give me a thumbs up. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it if it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some earlier episodes you may not have seen before here and here. And you can click the logo down here to subscribe and then click the bell icon to be notified of any new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.